Well, as much as you can imagine. You know, we had a lot of kids who, who really felt like they could go ahead and do it again. And, and we talked about the realities of that. My goodness, they've, you know, they've won 25 straight postseason games. And at some point, you're going to run into somebody who's just a little bit better on a given day. And that was Turkey Run. But we, we talked about, you know, you can't take away any of the achievements and the accomplishments and, and, and the chemistry that they've built and the fun that they've had. And, you know, that, that'll sink in after a few days. But it's pretty tough right now. What do you think was the biggest thing that Turkey Run did well? They, they handled the pressure just well enough. They turned it over a few times, but the places where they didn't turn it over were out top where we could turn it into points. And that's one thing that we've done all year has been able to turn uh, our, our defensive plays into points. And I think there was only one time that I can recall where Bailey made a steal in the first half and got fouled at the other end. That's two points. You know, we, we count on scoring a lot more points. So even though we did turn them over several times, we didn't get the sorts of turnovers that manifest themselves into points. Foul trouble was tough, too. Yeah, you know, it's tough when, when Kendall's stat line in the first half is, is uh, zero shots, three fouls. You know, especially when, uh, you know, she felt like uh, she was having a lot of trouble getting loosened up. Uh, with what they were doing defensively. So she was very frustrated, and I don't blame her, but you know, Becky got into foul trouble. And you know, that's something that you know, we've, we've had maybe one kid get in foul trouble, but never two. Uh, and that, that did disrupt our rotations a little bit. Were you surprised a little bit at how well they handled the pressure at times? Or is that something you kind of saw? Kind of take more? Well, last year, I guess, at this they, they should be able to handle the pressure. They've got eight seniors out there, and they've seen it before. They played against it. You know, and they're, they're an outstanding veteran basketball team. So I don't know what the total turnovers ended up. I think it was 12 at halftime. So, uh, but like I said, the types of turnovers that we didn't get, the ones that out around the top or uh, you know, things that we could turn into transition points, that's what really hurt us. When you take a look at uh, you know Becky and the rest of these seniors, um, I, you mentioned it a little bit, but uh, kind of the legacy that they leave behind because uh, the cupboard is far from bare. Well, bear. yeah, for our seniors, this is the first time they've ever finished their season not sitting on a podium at a state championship, uh, giving an interview. So it's tough for them, but you know the fact of the matter is, you win 25 straight games in in, in the postseason. 25 games where you lose, you go home. That's an amazing, an amazing streak, and those seniors have a lot to be proud of. Talk a little bit about their inside game and maybe the first time all year that you can maybe say that you missed Tap Gerardo a little bit. Yeah, well, Francis got loose on us a few times uh, because she's quick, not because she's big and strong, but she's quick. And so she was able to be tall and quick, which we haven't seen many of those kids this year. Um, and again, part of, our, part of our defensive design was to keep the ball away from her by keeping good pressure on their guards. And there were times when we just didn't get that done. Um, uh, offensive rebounds, they had some putbacks that were timely for them and, and hurtful for us. So, you know, just uh, lots of little things when you look at a game like this. And, you know, the final score, even though it was fairly close, wasn't even really indicative. You know, it's a four point game with four minutes to go, and we just couldn't quite get over the hump. Let's say you got it within one there at the three minute mark a couple times, got oh, it within right. one, and then. Yeah. You just couldn't get over that hump. Yeah, well, you know, we, we had a bad defensive possession the next time down. Bailey did hit that three, and we got it to one, and then we, we kind of got stretched out defensively, and they came right back and scored. Um, but, you know, again, that's, it's going to happen. It's the game of basketball, and our kids played hard. They did their best today, and it just you know, wasn't good enough. And, and, you know, Turkey Run had a lot to do with that. Uh, talking about the future, I know it's uh, still fresh, but um, – the way that Bailey played, the way that you know Miss Finch can play, uh, you have to feel pretty good about uh, heading forward that those players can kind of take a loss like this and motivate themselves for the next season. Well, I hope that it would, and we talked about that too. You know, the legacy that the seniors left, and, and I said to the to the underclassmen, now that you know what this feels like, you probably never want it to feel this way again. And uh, the seniors, this is the first time it's ever felt like that for them. So I have no idea, you know, what they're, what they're going through. But, you know, the younger kids have seen what it's supposed to look like over the years. They saw this year what it's supposed to look like. And, and certainly they've got a lot of tools to build on. And we're, you know, we're, uh, we'll, we'll be back. We'll be back.